The Calgary Stampeders wrap up the regular season on Saturday night against the Riders with a bunch of welcome faces back in the lineup. After fully practicing this week, receiver Kamar Jordan and defensive back Titus Wall are off the six-game injured list and will start. Uh, those six games, the injury was kind of my, my time to really get back to figuring out who I was, how I could help the team and, and the role that I play on this team. So I'm um, definitely looking forward to that and and, and just helping the guys. Now, I want to I be out here and actually be – I mean, a, a playmaker, what, what I've been known for and stuff like that, and, and kind of take some of the, some of the uh, burden off of the other guys uh, who've been playing really great as well. So, I mean, that's what, they, that's what I'm here for. That's what they brought me here, and that's what I, I expect to do in these playoffs. Oh, yeah, it was kind of frustrating, but it's probably something that I needed, you know, just to, just to remind me of how far I came and, you know, what I've accomplished and just to be thankful for the little things. And so I needed it a lot, and, you know, you won't hear a lot of people say they need to get injured, but it was really eye-opening for me to be able to sit back and observe from, from a different perspective. While the Stamps want to build momentum for the playoffs next weekend, Saturday's game is irrelevant to the standings, and Coach Dave Dickinson has elected to sit a number of starters, including Mike Rose, Kadeem Carey, and Sean Lemon. Listen, if you know a guy and what he's about, I don't need to see as much of him, if at all. Really, I don't. Um, you know, And that's just basically... I do understand that it's our last home game, it's fan appreciation, and there are things that we want to do out there, but it is about playing good, solid football. I really want us to be tight on our details. I want us to assignment sound, I want us to be playing with great effort. As for Jake Mayer, this will be his final tune-up before the playoffs, and the quarterback would love to get one last win at home this season, where the Stamps are currently 4-4. Four and four. Yeah, we have not played very good football at home, um, you know, whether it's one, one side of the ball or the other. Uh, yeah, we haven't, we haven't put a, a game together at home in quite some time. So, yeah, that'd be important to give our fans something to, to be excited about going to the playoffs and just get momentum. What remains a question is how much, if at all, Bo Levi Mitchell will see the field in what could be his last game ever as a Stampeder at McMahon Stadium. The organization has made it clear all options will be on the table once the season ends, and the veteran quarterback who's played his entire career with Calgary says right now he's focused on helping this team win a Grey Cup, whatever that might look like. Yeah, you know, I've talked to Dave and, and told him, you know, I don't, I don't need a, a hoorah moment. Um, you know, I want to. I just want to be here for this team. You know, in the playoffs or in the Grey Cup, if I'm able to help this team win. Um, you know, so whatever he has to do to make that happen is, um, you know, we've talked and. Uh, you know, I just want to make people make sure people understand it's not definitely not on day if I don't get in the game. Just a reminder that it's fan appreciation night on Saturday and fans will have a chance to come onto the field after the game and win a game worn jersey. Heading into week 21, Calgary is one of three teams that has scored at least 500 points. The Stamps lead the way with 526, followed by BC at 516 and Winnipeg at 514. The last time Calgary won the scoring race was in 2016. Veteran Stamps kicker Rene Paredes leads the CFL in scoring with 199 points and has a chance to defend the league scoring title he won last year. Paredes, who also was the CFL's top scorer in 2013, needs one more point to reach 200 for the third time in his career. And the Stamps are into the playoffs for a 17th consecutive season, by far the longest active streak in the CFL and tied for fourth longest in league history. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers have the second longest active string of playoff appearances at six seasons.